Hello everybody and welcome to another adventure in DOS. Today I'm going to be looking at a couple of programs. Uh, the first being the Volkov Commander and the other um, called List by Vernon Berg, whom I dedicate this video to um, in his memory. Um, this is it, the Volkov Commander, and I'll just zoom up. And it uh, is version 4.0 and we have 655,344 bytes of memory and you can see that I have 602 736. Now when I boot up DOS I usually have about 615 remaining. Uh, this program is written in assembly language and only uses 12,000 bytes of lower memory which um, because it's written in assembly that's what keeps it small and not only that, as an added benefit, it is very quick because um, it is um, the uh, the interpreter doesn't have to doesn't have to do much with assembly language because it's com uh, assembly language is closely tied to the to the hardware itself. That's what makes it extremely quick. So um, the interpreter doesn't have to do a lot of work, and thus, as a result, you get a very quick program. As far as a program itself, it is a masterpiece. Um, because of its size, making an assembly program of this of this size um, is extremely uh, difficult, and uh, I have to my uh, I have to give a hat tip to the developer bulk of of this of this program. Um, what does it do? Well, if you've got a 486, or if you're a hobbyist and you and you uh, aren't very comfortable with doing uh, command lines, uh, command line typing, um, which I'm not, I'm, I'm not crazy. I don't like it. I, I I like to have something that's comfortable to use. You can use this program called the Volkov Commander, and what it does is that you have two panels. You have a panel on the right and left and uh, in this case I have them as identical but what you can do is that you can move files from one panel into the other so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the C drive on this on this particular panel and I'm going to go into my junk drawer I'm going to choose a file and I'm just going to copy it into the D drive which is a RAM drive that I've created oh uh, by the way if anybody out there knows anything about RAM drives and uh, and such I have a question for you is that I've been doing some testing of my uh, of, of benchmarking my hard drive and I noticed a significant drop of uh, hard drive performance if I increase the size of the RAM drive beyond 32 megabytes I don't know why that is um, it's quite significant actually but if I if I keep the RAM drive at 32 megabytes everything seems fine but if I go beyond that, if I go to 64 or even just to, just slightly above 32 megabytes, um, the uh, the ra the uh, hard drive uh, read write uh, speed drops off significantly. Uh, so if anybody has an answer to that, I'd, I'd I'd like to know why that might be. Anyway, back to the Volkov Commander. So I've I've t I've moved a file here, and I'm going to take this put this drive back into drive D. So now you can see I have identical as we had before, and I'm just going to make a directory here, and I'm going to call it directory. Why not? There we go. Making sure it's of course only eight characters, which which is uh, important. I'm just going to take this file and I'm going to dump it into this directory here. So I'm going to move it in, and it's in. Now another thing the Volkov command can do is that you can set up uh, extension files such as a zip file which uh, which I have listed in ARJ files and LZH and uh, you can use programs that if you just double click it they'll automatically unzip the file. So if I double click on this the files unzip and uh, now that it's all unpacked I can take a look at uh, the documentation about the program I'm about to use. Now this is where list comes in. Now list, well I don't have to use list, I can actually 
I mean, if I want to take a look at this, uh, if I want to take a look at the, I can use Volkov Commander as well, which is the beauty of that. But if I just want to double click a file and take a look at it, um, just take a look at this README here. I'll have 10 out of it, and I'll, I'll go back to this one because it's got a, it's got a nice picture of a, a nasty picture of a castle here. Um, this is list written by Vernon Berg. Vernon Berg was a is considered one of the fathers of uh, freeware and shareware in the 1980s, and uh, this program called List was very, very uh, popular in in the heyday of DOS. Vernon Berg died in December of 2009, and again, this video is dedicated to his memory. Um, so this this video is a tribute to him because I'm getting a chance to demonstrate this wonderful program that he created. Um, this is one of his later versions of it. I don't think it is the, the latest version, but it's one of the later versions of it. And I'm just going to show you, uh, I'm just going to type it so that it's out on its own. And I'm going to go into, uh, I'm going to change dr dr drives. There we go. And uh, what you can do is that you can look around and, and read files that uh, if you want to um, read file documentation like in here. Um, yeah, like in here. Here's a file ID dis, which is usually a description of a file. And uh, so at, at your fingertips you can look at files and and uh, read the documentation. It also is written in assembly, so it's very quick as to quick too. And uh, so this this is a great program if you if you're looking for uh, um, something that will make DOS perhaps a little more friendly. And uh, it's it's a great program. Just getting back to um, using um, just gonna put this in drive D here. And then just go to D. Alright, I'll just get it out of here. I'm going to uh, just demonstrate a little bit of a little bit more of what uh, the Volkov commander can do. Um, I'm just gonna go back in the C drive. I'm just gonna op open up um, I'm going to run uh, the Lynx browser just to show you I can double click on a on a file and run it. So it's starting up and then boom, here we are. We're in the uh we're in the Lynx browser. And just do a little bit of that. So yeah, it works. I mean if you if you so you can use it um as almost like a uh uh it's 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 almost like a uh a perfect GUI, almost like uh, uh, any of the modern systems. I should also point out that if you can, if you're getting shareware or anything, make an effort to get in touch with the developer and uh, pay for your shareware, or offer to pay for your shareware. So some of, some of some of the guys that I've gotten in touch with, they say, "Don't bother. Uh, no, no, no. I, I, I'll, I'll send you around and I'll, I'll search you for something and." Uh, and uh, if you pay for your shareware, they'll send you some really nice stuff. They got really stuff that nobody else can get, and 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 you'd be surprised at uh, at, at how nice they are. And that they're so happy that, that that you're using a program that they created eons ago. That they they they'll look up stuff that uh, and they'll give you programs that that you're unable to find. So yeah, make an effort to pay for your shareware. Um, sometimes they don't. They don't always give you something. Sometimes they give you nothing, and and often you can't find the uh, the shareware developers anymore. They've they've long since moved on, of course. But anyways, thank you for watching this video about Volkov Commander and List, and I hope it was instructive. And uh, good luck with your uh, with your old machine, and I hope you get it going. Bye.